All right, everyone, this video, we're going to talk about the Borla Attack Catback Exhaust. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're uh, staying safe in these uh, these crazy times that we're in. Hope everyone's safe, you know, in good health uh, and doing well. So, like I said, we're going to talk about the catback exhaust, uh, Borla Attack catback exhaust. Uh, we'll talk about what I like, what I don't like, uh, and do I recommend it uh, to to anyone. So, let's talk about the things I like about the exhaust. So, first off, what I like about it is it's super easy to install. It's literally, you take the clamps off the current uh, current exhaust, throw this one on, clamp it down, uh, and, and, and you're done. Literally, you could do this, you know, in your driveway with a couple jack stands and a uh, uh, and some jacks, you know. Um, super easy. Uh, it's all clamps, all clamped on, uh, and, and yeah, so it's super easy to install. The second thing I like about the exhaust, I know a lot of people don't look up, up underneath their cars, but the look and the quality uh, of the uh, of the exhaust. So everything is super high quality. It's all stainless steel. Uh, the clamps are really high quality, well built. Uh, I've had mine on for uh, getting close to uh, a year now, and I've had them tightened up you know, about a month ago, just to make sure everything was tight. Uh, and they were still, for the most part, they were still pretty tight. So, uh, quality, A1, top-notch, super-duper. Now, the next thing uh, that I like about the uh, the exhaust is the noise. Uh, the, the loudness uh, of the exhaust. Um, so, I'll post up two clips. Uh, one clip is going to be from when I had my Flowmaster 40s and a, a resonator delete. And the second one will be with the uh, the Borla Attack Catback, and uh, let you hear the difference. And I'll post that up now. Okay. Pretty good difference between you know between Flowmaster Resonator Delete and the, the Borla Attack Catback Exhaust. So when it went into the rev part, uh, I think the uh, Flowmaster 40s and the Resonator Delete uh, came in at about 114 and some change. Well, the Borla Attack comes in at 129.2. <laughs> Big difference. Big difference. Um, yeah, the, the Borla Attack uh, catback is a lot louder uh, than just, uh, you know, regular mufflers in, or a resonator delete or no mufflers and no resonators. Um, it is it is significantly loud. Um, the third thing I like about the, the Borla Attack catback is the uh, is the actual s sound itself. So it's kind of a double-edged sword. Sometimes I like it, sometimes I don't. Um, it just kind of depends what kind of mood I'm in. <laughs> mood I'm in. Uh, I was looking for something a little deeper tone, uh, but the uh, the Borla Attack, uh, you know, cat back has has grown on, grown on me quite a bit. It's a little bit, just a little, a little more raspy than I like, uh, but uh, it does it does a really really good job. Really really nice crisp sound to it. Uh, and the fourth thing I like uh, about the Borla Attack Catback Exhaust is literally there's uh, very minimal, if any, drone at all. Um, so you can look in some of my past videos when I'm driving the car and, and I'm making a video and I'm talking to you like I'm talking to you right now. 
Uh, I'm not driving right now. I'm just sitting sitting in the car. But um, yeah, if you look back in some of the other past videos when I'm driving, um, you have no problem hearing me uh, I, until I get on it. Once you get on it, then it gets a little loud in here. But if you're just cruising, you can sit here, have a conversation uh, with, with no problem. You can listen to the radio uh, or whatever uh, and have no problems whatsoever. So uh, like I said, the, 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 uh, the drone, very minimal at worst. Um, so now let's talk about some of the things I don't like about the exhaust. So I talked about the tone. Sometimes the the tone and the raspiness, like I said, I like it. I'm beginning to like it more and more, but there's still times when it's like, eh, it's, that's a little high, higher pitched, a little more raspy than I like. But um, it, it's, like I said, it, it's kind of grown on me. Uh, and now, you know, we got Jay Green uh, doing me some tuning and uh, starting to get a few pops here and there. So it's like, it's a good and a bad, I guess, at this point. Um, what else don't I like about the Borla Attack? I can't think of anything. Uh, I can't think of any uh, any other thing that, that I don't like about the Borla Attack. Uh, it's a solid uh, cat-back exhaust. Uh, and would I recommend it to uh, to anybody? Absolutely. I would have no problem recommending... Uh, you know, this, this, uh, exhaust to, to anyone. Um, it's just, it all boils down to preference, uh, uh, of your tone and what you want your exhaust to sound like. Um, I believe the Borla is two and three quarter inch, uh, all the way back. You know, there's people that make three inch, get you a little deeper. Uh, you know, the Magnaflow, if you look at RT Life's, uh, uh, YouTube channel. He's got a three-inch uh, mag uh, MagnaFlow um, competition all the way back, uh, and his his got a, a really nice deep tone. Uh, so if you want to you want to know the difference between the Borla Attack uh, and, and a MagnaFlow competition, go check out uh, RT Life's channel, um, and you can hear the difference. So I know this is a short one. That's gonna do it for now. Uh, if you're stopping in for the first time, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell uh, so you get notifications when I upload new content. Uh, and if you like the content, please smash that like button. Uh, that like button helps the channel out more than you know. Um, so thanks everyone for taking a few minutes out of your time to watch my video. And until next time.